All right, folks, welcome back to Duty's Daggers. This is pretty exciting. Super exciting. I mean, you know, it's always exciting to uh, open up a knife, but this one I've been waiting for for uh, a couple months. So before we get into it, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, you know, all that uh, good stuff. <clears throat> so this is a package from Kun Wu. And most of you will already know what the knife is, um, just with knowing that information. So, um, a few months ago, Kun Wu started a Kickstarter for a new design. Um, they made a, a few designs uh, prior to that. They had some Tau's, they had the x Tau. they had, um, gosh, I can't remember the other one. Was it like a Ronin or something like that? Um, quite a few, but um, this was the first one, as far as I was aware, that they did a Kickstarter on. Um, not exactly sure why. I guess they just couldn't really um, fund it themselves, so they decided to, to uh, do it this way. Um, but they sent out some prototypes to some channels to check out. I watched those videos, and um, I thought it looked absolutely amazing. So I decided to back the Kickstarter. How it worked was you you know pledged the amount. It was, I think, around 170 bucks. And then you got to choose uh, which version you wanted. There was uh, two or three maybe titanium versions, uh, different uh, milling on the titanium. I think there was a smooth, an orange peel, and a textured tie. And then there was a couple of different uh, kinds of G10. So uh, you'll see which one I got here in a second. Um, so I, I backed the, the, uh, the Kickstarter. They were very good with updating everybody with uh, emails. On, on you know the progress of the knife, the knives, and um, it didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Um, I backed the Kickstarter on um, December seventh, so really not that long. You know the Kickstarter had been going on a little while before I backed it, but not not too long. Um, so very exciting, and um, I think I'm one of one of at least the. YouTubers that I'm aware of, the knife YouTubers, uh, one of the first people to get this. Um, the reason for that is um, apparently they, you know, the, the the port that they came into from overseas is was somewhere in California, probably the Bay Area, um, because when I checked the tracking that they sent in the email, um, the origin was um, in California. So I'm guessing they they got a, a big shipment in to somewhere in California. And they're shipping out from there um, because uh, my buddy Jason, who is uh, uh, back east, um, sort of southeast, um, said that his tracking head was coming from California as well. So um, I haven't watched any reviews on these. Uh, you know, I've, I've watched reviews on the prototypes, but haven't seen a single thing on the actual uh, production uh, versions that were sent out. So I have no idea what to expect. I've never handled one of these. I didn't get to check out the prototype. I have checked out um, a few other Kun Wu knives, and um, I was pretty impressed with them. Um, so this is really exciting. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully this video gets a lot of views. Hopefully, I'm one of the first guys to uh, to open it. That'd be pretty cool, huh? So I'm really excited. Let's um. Let's open this thing. Please like the video before we continue. Like I said, I already said this, but subscribe, please. Like the video. Here we go. Okay, we have, okay, cool. My buddy Cretan was telling me about this bag. Um, ooh, yeah, it is fuzzy. He was telling me it was very fuzzy inside. <laughs> um, um, he has uh, the x Tau, a different Kun Wu, and he said that he got this cool uh, drawstring bag with his. And he always told me how fuzzy it was inside, and he was not wrong. That is a very fuzzy inside of a bag. Kind of like canvas and um, wood beads on the drawstrings. That's a good quality bag. Awesome. Ooh, I can see it peeking out. Uh, Kun Wu, it comes with a set of spare <clears throat> springs. Oh, strong spring. Look at that. It's so cool, man. I love that. Um... Microfiber, another set of springs, I guess just regular spare ones. And here's the knife. Ooh, here we go. 
We've been waiting over two months for this. Oh, oh boy. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dude, this texture is so nice. I've never seen a texture quite like this. It's almost like a diamond texture. There's like, you know, the, the peaks of the texture are... Uh, or diamond, or like pyramids, kind of. Oh, man. Ooh, that's cool. They uh, they stamped out the little logo out of the clip. That's cool. This is a titanium clip, I believe. Yep, titanium clip. Gosh, already I'm pretty impressed with the milling going on here. Not just the texture, but, you know, um, they have the, uh, the filler tab. They milled out uh, an inset spot for the clip on the left-handed side. I love this lanyard loop. I don't typically put lanyards on knives, but, I, I, you know, I like it when they look good. And that looks very good. Oh, we have a crown spine, too? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. All right, I got to reverse flick this thing. Before I do, I'm really hoping it has a decently strong detent. The x tau that I tried, um, which is using this same lock by them, um, had a very, very weak detent. So let's see here. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Okay, yeah, it's on the weaker side, but it's not bad. Oh, it's so comfortable. Holy crap, it's comfortable. Unbelievably smooth. Crossbar lock. <laughs> oh, dude. This is LMAX blade steel. Oh, it's numbered too. Awesome. So I guess they made 600 of these um, titanium or uh, textured tie ones. Number 286, very cool. This is actually my first time owning any L Max um, blade steel. Let's give her a wipe. This is such a good looking knife, man. That's what initially drew me to it was just the, uh, the aesthetics, you know? Really like the kind of uh, broad blade Bit of belly, but still a good low tip. Almost looks spear point-ish. Oh, man. Choked back. Still get a full grip, but choked up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Comfy to the max. Feels pretty thin, too, behind the edge. We'll measure it here. Feels like a very good edge from factory. Yeah, it, it's definitely on the weaker side. Um, I will definitely put those um, stronger springs in and see what happens. Um, you know, it's a crossbar lock, and so there's no detent ball. Um, so that's kind of, a, you know, uh, a typical issue with crossbar locks is they, they don't have very crisp breakaways. Um, but, man. It's really not that bad. It's not like I'm failing it. I can fail it. But actually, yeah, I can. But I have to try. If I give it any any meaningful flick, it's coming out. Oh, oh man, dude. Oh, gosh, this is so nice. Especially for the price. I mean, holy crap, 170 bucks. Now that was the the uh, the pre-order price, or you know the the Kickstarter backing price. I think uh, you know they they said that they were going to drop a few on the website. Um, you know the extras that they have made for everyone else that missed out. You know, um, and I think it was going to be around like two twenty-five around there. But still, dude, are you kidding me? It's such an excellent price. 
for a full titanium, you know, bar lock knife with L Max blade steel. Um, excellent texture, excellent uh, fit and finish that I can, you know, as far as I can tell so far. You know, pretty detailed milling. I really like how the diamond pattern, you know, stops uh, at the where the chamfer begins. Um, but they put it around these, um, this hardware. They put that texture around the hardware still. I like this right in here. That's very nice. Geared backspacer. I really like how this lanyard hole looks. I don't know if I've ever said that before about a knife or about a lanyard hole. Oh man, I really like this. Fills out the hand really nicely. I mean, completely free swinging blade. Look at that. So smooth. The bar lock feels like my drop bear, you know. Um, if you own a drop bear, you know that it just, you know, compared to a Benchmade, for example, even when you just pull these tabs down, it feels so much smoother than a Benchmade. Um, just complete fall shut when you pull those back. Let's check blade play. Zero. Absolutely zero. Oh man, I am really happy with this. You know what? Um, let's let's put these stronger springs in, shall we? I'm very curious. Um, I'm a little nervous to take it apart, but I'm gonna have to. There's no way I'm living with not trying the the, the stronger springs. That's just not an option. So let's do it. Let's freaking do it. This will be a little bit of a longer video, but that's okay. You know. Let's get our old Tinker Force out. Get our old bits out. All right. What do we got for the pivot here? T8. Yep. And body screws. Uh, that kind of sucks. The body screws are T6, but eh. whatever. Also, I just noticed that's so cool how it bulges out right there in the chamfer. See where these these hardwares are? It, you know, the chamfer is kind of disrupted by that hardware being in there. It kind of bulges out. <laughs> that is so cool, man. Yeah, the level of detail is really nice. And look right here, too. The texture kind of um, goes out a bit and, uh, next to the tabs. You can see right there. And it also bulges out a little bit into the chamfered area. Oh man, that is really cool. Awesome, dude. All right. Let's do this. Let's just jump right in. Screw it. Right? I'm wondering how easy or difficult this is going to be. But we're just going to go for it. Here we go. Gosh. You know, I was thinking I should get two drivers. That way, if I'm taking apart a knife that has two different size hardwares, I can just have one, one bit on each driver. <clears throat> and it'll be a lot more convenient. Spinning, yeah, okay. Okay, now what do we have? Does it lift off? Hmm. What is holding you together? Oh, it's the tab. Oh gosh, I have to take the tabs off too? It looks like I do. All right, here we go. 
I have a feeling this could, could turn into a nightmare. But we have to do it. Now, will you come off, please? There we go. Very gently. Very gently. Is it being held on still? Oh, here we go. Where's the spring? Oh, it's inside here. This is risky business, dude. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> this is risky, risky business. I am scared. I wish they, I mean, why wouldn't they just put the strong ones in to begin with, you know? They figured, they, they must know that most people are gonna want them. Okay, there's the spring. It's going around that like that. Now the other side's gonna be hard because I have to take the whole pivot out. So which side is this? That side, okay. Pop this off. This one on. Okay, it's on. Now we can put this, or wait, we'll go like this. Crap, I forget how it went already. Did it go like this? Uh oh, I thought this was behind there. Like this. Does that make sense? See if I can see on the other side, maybe. This part, yeah, that's got to be it, right? I don't know. But how is that? How is that how it works? Now, I'm going to take the blade off. We're just going to get down into the nitty gritty here. You guys can fast forward if you really don't want to watch all this. But if you plan on, you know, if you have a pulsar coming, you might want to know how to do this. Actually, I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to leave that on. Okay. Um, let's keep track. Okay, that's the ones in there. Okay, we're good. Now, is this going to push out? Yes. Okay. Very tight fit. Super tight. There we go. Now, we got to take this tab off. Do 
don't get them confused, Kevin. Is that spinning? Yes, it is. Crap. I'm going to have to grip that. Well, actually... Well, actually, now, you know what? I see how this works. Yeah, that does not go in there. That does not go in there at all. <laughs> it goes like this. Right? See that one? The flat part is on the outside. So this one is just going to be opposite of that. So it sits like this. Or no, it sits like this. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. I'm already regretting that taking this apart. <laughs> already regretting it. So this goes just like that. No. Okay, I think that goes like that. I think that goes like that. Now I'm going to have to grab my um, Leatherman so I can grip that post. We gotta grip that post, yo. We gotta grip that post, yo. We got to grip that post, yo. Okay, cool. I did not have to grab it super hard. Let's keep that separate. That's the backspacer. Don't worry. Don't worry, Kevin. Everything's okay. You're gonna be fine. It's gonna go back together like a piece of cake. Actually, that does have to come out. This is a puzzle. This filler tab is holding in the liner. Gosh. This sucks, dude. Okay, that's gonna go back in that same exact way. Let's take out our liner, watching very carefully how it goes. Okay. Okay, I got it. I'll move this blade out of the way. So I see how it goes. Just get off of there, please. There we go. New spring. This better be worth it, dude. Wait, is it the wrong way? Yeah, it's the wrong way.
goes like this, and like that. Okay, now I can put this back in, right? Gosh, that's going to be annoying to do that. This might be more difficult than the smock. What's going to hold that? Can I put the this back in it? Can I hold you? Please hold it. Okay. That's holding it where I want it. Carefully set this down like that. Okay, we're good. Now I can put this tab back on. Like so. Okay, things are looking better. I think. Okay, we're good. Okay, that's in there. Now, I think now we can put the blade back on. Or no, we gotta put the pivot back through first. Pivot goes through. Like that. Bearing goes on. Now, um, oh, we could put the filler tab back in too. Let's do that really quick. Just because I think it's going to hold the liner in. Okay, we're good. We have springiness right there. <clears throat> Let's drop our blade on. So you pull down the lock while you put the blade on. Actually, would this be better to do it? Uh, I need the stop pin. Where is the stop pin? Oh, it's in here. Okay. Is it stuck in there? Yeah, it's stuck in there. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It's fine, dude. I don't give a shit. And then this liner is going to go, let me think about this. This has to go, okay, I did have it right. It goes like this. I just don't know how I'm going to hold this down. You know what I mean? Because I have to hold this down and get expose that hole. Maybe I can, hmm. okay, it's in, now can we, hold on, am I, can I do this now? Do I have my bearings in? Yes, okay. Wait, what is happening? Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. This goes like this. This goes like this. So the spring on the outside, spring on the outside, spring on the outside. Now I think I can, okay, line that up. I might have to do this with the blade closed. So that pops up 
maybe. Get it? Oh, come on. Why is that? Why is that doing that? Are we good? That pin isn't seated yet. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Oh, the backspacer. The backspacer. That's what I'm forgetting. Please, can I squeeze you in there? I think I can. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Yes. Okay, that was the missing piece of the puzzle. I think we're going to do it. I'm, I'm getting a glimmer of hope. I think we did it. Or we're close to doing it. Okay, the spring is good. It's in there. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Woohoo! God, that was a nightmare. Okay, what are these? Are those, okay, yeah, those are the pocket clip screws. Let's put our bodies in. Ooh, I'm so excited. This better be worth it. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Both sides. Whew. All right, now our tab goes back. Everything's working. Everything's working. Can't believe it. Everything's working. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're stronger. I can feel that already. Hope they're not too strong. Gosh. Pivot time, and we're done. That is definitely better. Now we're a little off center. Let me get the clip back on. Oh. If you sat through that whole thing, my God, you are a real fan. <laughs> How long have we been gone? 34 minutes, gosh. But if you're gonna do this with yours, you're gonna need to know that stuff. Or you just figure it out yourself, you know. But I figure watching me struggle, you know, watch this video while you're waiting for yours to arrive. And then when you get yours, you will uh, be ahead of the game. It's definitely stronger. Oh yeah, way stronger. Mm. 
Yep, this is better. For sure better. It's still, you know, it's not like a, it's not like a detent. It's not like a detent ball. It's not like a reverse flick on a spider co. Um, but it's good. It's much better with these springs. You know, it requires more pull to pull down the tabs, but they still feel smooth. We're a little bit off center. I want to see if I can fix that. It was perfect before, so I'm going to do the the loosened body screw uh, trick here. See if we can get it good. Yeah, that's perfect. Centered up. Sweet. You know, I wish it would have come like that. But, you know, we did it. The knife still works perfectly. I like it better now. Even better. You know, aside from the action, um, you know, and the action, like I said, it's never going to be like reverse flicking a, like a spider co, for example. But this is bad freaking ass, man. You know? Um... This is an amazing knife. I absolutely love it. Um, the texturing, incredible. All this detailed milling that's happening here. Um, you know, it was difficult to take apart, but, you know, even in that difficulty, you can tell that someone thought very long and very, very hard, probably a team of people, really, um, about how to design this knife and get everything to fit together perfectly. Um, and that's cool. You know, I love the choke up spot. I love this broad blade. It just looks so good. Unbelievably smooth. It feels very cool to have a full titanium knife with a crossbar lock. There's not too many of those out there. I don't own any, you know. Um, it just feels really cool. So this is awesome. Um, if you guys are waiting for yours, thumbs up for me, man. Um, you know, get it and see what you think. You might not even want to change the springs, you know. But uh, I will tell you, the detent on the deployment is stronger, for sure. Um, everything just feels a little bit stiffer and, um, you know, just a little better, in my opinion. But get it and, and uh, see what you think, you know. Um, it's difficult to take apart, but absolutely doable, you know. Uh, I'm not the best uh, taker aparter of knives, and I was able to do it with... Um, you know, I really didn't run into that many issues. It took me a while, but it wasn't like things weren't fitting, you know, and, and any of that. So, awesome. Um, yeah, let me know um, if any of you guys have got yours or if you're getting yours soon. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, if you put the stronger springs in or not. Um, I'm going to carry this thing and then do a full review on it. So, awesome. Kun Wu, I think they absolutely killed it on this design. You know, they have quite a few designs, and this is, uh, I wouldn't say quite a few. They, ha they have a few designs, and this is absolutely, aesthetically, to me, their absolute best-looking one. For sure. This is my style, man. Cool. I am super stoked. Um, and I got a really nice bag. So, thanks for watching, folks. Um, see you in the next one. Peace.